Welcome to a DAS training short presentation. I'm James Margariti and I'm here to talk about the Reliance XR series. During this presentation, I'll discuss the relationship between DAS and the Reliance, the features of the Reliance XR series, adding devices to the Reliance XR, tools that help with your configuration and operation. I'll talk through three system designs where a Reliance XR system can be used from a residential home to a small business. And lastly, I will talk about the support, warranty and training of the Reliance XR series. For those watching and are not aware of the Reliance brand, it is owned and manufactured by Aritech, which is a child company of the Carrier Global Corporation. The Carrier Global Corporation is a very large company with over 53,000 employees worldwide, producing products in a range of markets such as heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and fire and security, to name a few. Aritech, as mentioned, manufacture the Reliance product range, and as its own entity, has over 800 employees and focus on security and life safety solutions, which is where the Reliance intrusion alarm system fits. The Reliance product has a history of its own, and it all started in 1996, with the Network X or NX series intrusion alarm system. The NX series included the NX4, the NX8, the NX12 and the NX16, which is not uncommon to still see operating at a range of sites today. Then came the Reliance series in 2007, which included the Reliance R8, R12 and R128, which was a welcomed improved system. And now the latest system in the Reliance brand is the Reliance XR series, which was first released in 2019. Since 2019, the Reliance XR Pro has been available, and now in 2023, the smaller Reliance XR has been released. Before I get into the features of the Reliance XR series, I'd like to spend a moment on talking about who we are at DAS and our relationship with the Reliance product. We are an Australian leading technology provider that specialises in security and surveillance products. We have multiple trade counters around Australia, which allow you to come in and pick up products when you need them. And if you have any inquiries, you can always speak to our friendly team members who can help with picking the right products that you need. Behind that, we have an all-star team that supports all areas from account managers for those customers with larger purchase quantities, our own training team with certified courses or on-demand sessions tailored to your needs and our technical support teams which can support with your resolutions including warranty and replacements. Now that you know who we are and what's behind us, let's get stuck into the Reliance XR series and its main capabilities. Starting with the Reliance XR Pro which can support up to 176 zones up to eight areas and up to 24 code pads. Whereas the Reliance XR can support up to 24 zones, up to four areas and up to 16 code pads. Before we get into more detail on the Reliance XR series, it's important to remember why we should still prioritize security where possible. Looking at the data, there were over 387,000 Australian households that experienced either a break-in or an attempted break-in with data like this, we could assume there are more that went unrecorded as well. However, it's over 4% of homes that were impacted, which is a significant increase from last year, almost up by 1%. These statistics show that we need alarm systems to take action immediately when something unwanted occurs. And through this presentation, we'll highlight some of the features that make the Reliance XR series stand out. So out of the box, you'll get support for wired and wireless detectors and peripherals. No additional modules are required to purchase. This is a key feature that when combined with the backwards compatibility provides a system that has a huge range of connected devices. There may be a site out there that is using an older Reliance or even an NX system that has a range of wired detectors. This site could be replaced with a Reliance XR system, which will instantly allow for a range of new devices to be connected, including wireless. 
not to mention all the features that come with the newer system. This all gets enabled while having the existing devices previously installed still being used. Another key feature to mention is the communication methods. On board, there is IP via Ethernet, which allows communication over the internet. This can be handy for receiving notifications when events occur or connect your site up to a monitoring service to take action immediately. With devices being connected to the internet, it's always important to touch on security, as you don't want your data compromised. Reliance utilizes their own UltraSync technology. UltraSync allows for a connection to the system from software or apps using encrypted communication. It is a fully managed network hosted on Microsoft Azure servers with redundancy in place and high standard security that is respected worldwide. The main comparison with the XR series comes down to how much you can do with it. And for reference, the Reliance R8 system has been added as a comparison. As you can see with this matrix, all the panels in the XR series can do so much more when compared with the older R8. Moving on from the features of the Reliance XR series, let's start talking about the accessories. And I like to split accessories for an intrusion alarm system into four key components. Starting with controlling devices, such as code pads, fobs, and remote controls that arm and disarm your system. There's detection devices, such as PIR sensors, that detect any motion, read switches that can detect if a barrier is open or closed, indication devices such as sirens, strobes, or lights, which can be turned on in the event if unwanted activity occurs, and lastly, expansion modules, which can extend the feature set of your system, such as a zone expander, giving you the ability to configure more zones in your system. Once you are ready to install the Reliance XR system and all the accessories, maintaining and operating is a breeze with the Reliance tools available. There's software available for Windows, there's a web-based application, and also a mobile app. I've touched on how the Reliance XR system is a great way of upgrading existing sites. And these tools make the process easier with the ability to back up a site and transfer this into the Reliance XR. With the increased use of mobile phones, there has been a significant focus on the mobile app functionality to control and operate the Reliance XR system. Let's take a look at some of the common features, starting with arming and disarming the alarms which is more convenient than going to a code pad on the wall. And if you're away from the residence, you can check the status of the alarm and even check if the barriers, such as doors or windows, are open. You can have certain areas monitored, such as downstairs only. You can receive push notifications on your phone in the event something happens. You can monitor individuals and see their interactions with the system. And if that's not enough, you have a range of reports where you can view everything that is happening with your system. If monitoring your own system isn't your thing, or you would like someone else to react to events on your alarm, you can do this simply with control rooms. There's a range of control rooms that can gain access to your alarm events, and all of this can be configured easily and access over UltraSync, making sure your data is safe and secure. A full list of compatible control rooms can be found on our website. Now let's take a look at how the Reliance XR system with accessories can be designed for particular sites. I will use three examples moving from a residential home to a small and large commercial building. As I discuss the designs, I'll touch on reasons why a device may be used and why it's located in its position. Starting with a small residential home, which as you can see in the floor plan, is a two bedroom home with a garage. The very first device that I need to locate is the Reliance XR system, which I will locate in the wardrobe of the master bedroom. Typically this is considered one of the more secure locations of a residential home, as jewelry and other expensive items are stored here. Instead of using a standard PIR in the garage, I'm going to add a ceiling PIR 
which has a 360 degree field of view, essentially giving me more range with the one device. I'll add a piezo, which is an internal siren. You'd wanna put this somewhere central in the house, so no matter where you are inside, it can be heard. Another thing to note is the closer you have it to the windows and doors, makes it quicker for an intruder to disable. Next up, I'll add a combo siren and strobe, which is typically placed on the outside of the house where it is exposed so neighbors and passerbys can see the state of the alarm. To monitor the other main living areas, I'll use some standard PIRs. And lastly, I'll add a code pad to control the alarm system. Typically, this is placed in the most used entrance. In this case, it's the front door. And you may notice that there isn't anything monitoring the bedrooms. It's just how I've chosen to design the site, which is keeping the costs down. If the end user wants them to be monitored, I can just add some more PIRs. Moving on to the next design, which is a small commercial building. It has a little office, a retail front, and a warehouse. To not go over the same devices as design one, let's propagate the layout with the devices I have already spoken about. As mentioned in design one, my code pad was located in the home entrance as this was the most used location. Here in design two, let's add another code pad to the warehouse as this is an active doorway for this site. And to monitor the warehouse, I'll add some PIRs. But not any PIR, I'm going to select dual tech PIRs. Dual tech PIRs utilize microwaves as well as the passive infrared, which make it more suitable for the warehouse environment. In the warehouse environment, the temperatures may fluctuate more noticeably. There may be a draft coming through from cracks or doors. And these events can potentially be noticed by a standard PIR whereas a dual tech can be more accurate. I'll add a heavy duty reed switch to the garage door. This will let me confirm if it's open or closed. And as I have a lot of expensive items in the garage, knowing this is secured is something worth paying for. And I could check this easily through the UltraSync mobile app. To finish this design off, I'll add another reed switch, this one being recessed, which is placed inside the door. This will be used to monitor if the door is open or closed and being recessed keeps it neat and tidy. Taking our Reliance XR design to the next level, here is a medium to large commercial business. It's a factory with a large warehouse. Again, I'll propagate the layout with the items we have already discussed. And I'll start by adding some long range PIRs as it is a big warehouse and I want something cost effective which covers a larger area. These are great and can be used to look down aisles in warehouses or shops. I will add in some glass break detectors which can detect when glass is broken. I am only adding in two as these are being used in the more sensitive areas. These add to our PIR detection for extra security and redundancy. And as mentioned previously, I can always add more if the end user would like. I'm going to add a device to this site that isn't going to be used for the alarm functions. However, it may help the business improve response times in regards to their deliveries. The way I'm going to do this is by adding a PE beam to the garage door. This will detect any object such as delivery drivers crossing the beams. This will be configured to provide push notifications to team members via the UltraSync mobile app. An alternative to the PE beam that could be more cost effective and may provide similar results is a curtain PIR. And as it's a factory with neighbors not too close, one siren and strobe may not be loud enough. So I'm gonna add in a horn to give it that extra bang. And as you can see with these system designs, Building a system that is right for your site is possible and we have all the products to support it. That's just another DAS advantage. Our teams can help design or provide you the products you need from the range of our vendors. And if you prefer the ability to manage your purchases yourself, head on over to our Dicker Data portal. 
Our portal offers real-time pricing and inventory with full order tracking. Once you have logged in, you can browse to the Reliance catalog, which showcases the main product range of the Reliance. If you do not have your credentials, you can speak to any of our team members at our branches and they can help you out. The Reliance product and the wider carrier brand means a lot to us at DAS. And that is why we have our own products team designed to focus on the brand. Individually, they have their own strengths and are very technically minded. As a team, they have years of experience from sales, designs and technical support, which helps them provide the best overall support. And it's always important to talk about support and warranty with a product. Whether you have purchased these products before or installed them, we can help you out. We have a team that can help you with solution designs, configuration or staging, which means we can get involved with the design in case you are unable to figure out the best solution for your site. And if you need us to configure any part of the design prior, we got this covered too. If you're running into trouble while setting it up yourself or have any issues that cannot be resolved, our technical support team can get involved without the need for you to go to the vendor. We have our phone support and are able to offer local state-based support. And if the unlikely failure to a product happens, regardless of the warranty status, our repair team can assist with a back-to-base repair of the issue. And if they can't repair it, they can send it to the vendor on your behalf. Additionally, we do have a training team that can help you skill your business and end users. From technical certifications, operational training, or even tailored sessions for your own defined learning outcomes. Here at DAS, we wanna help you with whatever we can, and that is the DAS Advantage. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.